I'm Danny Alexander, Professor of Imaging Science in the Centre for Medical Image Computing and Department of Computer Science here at UCL. This project is about using state-of-the-art computational modelling and machine learning techniques to enhance our understanding of dementias and neurological diseases, in particular Alzheimer's disease. This project will take that forward and aims to exploit those ideas to improve the diagnosis, the care and ultimately the treatment in one of the biggest healthcare challenges facing 21st century society. Hi, I'm Sebastian Crutch and I'm a neuropsychologist and Alzheimer's Research UK Senior Research Fellow based at the Dementia Research Centre at UCL's Institute of Neurology. At the Dementia Research Centre we're, we specialise in working with people with rare atypical or young onset dementias and in this project we're going to be focusing upon applying the techniques Danny was referring to to a group of people with a condition called posterior cortical atrophy or PCA which is often referred to as the visual variant of Alzheimer's disease. Here's a brief video of one of our patients describing his experience of PCA. But PCA has put an end to most of his activities. No, because Susan is the gardener in our house. That's my if I help her pruning, I'm, I can never find the wretched branch to cut. I'm just cutting in the air all the time. I think I've, I think I've missed gardening. Yes. Let me explain. My whole life has changed. I was doing computing since 1959. That's gone. Used to play the piano up to grade seven, gone. Reading, writing, gone, gone. So people like this raise a number of really interesting questions about the mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease. And in particular, we don't yet understand how Alzheimer's disease can be quite so heterogeneous. So in, essentially, how can one disease affect different people in such different ways? Because that gentleman has a condition very different to the typical memory-related or memory-led form of Alzheimer's disease that most people would recognise.